Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day here today. Today we are here for a little, what will be a mini series on this channel. This is the Styling Staples mini series. So one of my fashion philosophies is having staple pieces in your wardrobe. It makes outfit assembly a lot easier. It's a really easy way to kind of pare down your closet and it also makes packing for travel a lot easier because you can just take one or multiple of your staple pieces, bring it along with you because a staple piece is truly something that that withstands the test of time, withstands coming and going of trends, and also something that you can wear in a zillion different ways, right? That's why it's a staple, it's because it can be worn in a bunch of different styles. So with this, I'm going to today show you three different ways to style our first staple piece. I'm super excited. So staples are a great way to start building your wardrobe because they're really easy to have more like accessory type pieces Played along with it if that makes sense you can also mix staple and staple um, but again they're just like the backbone of your wardrobe the foundation of your wardrobe in my opinion the staple pieces are also things that I personally will justify spending a bit more money on especially with the aspect of hey withstanding the test of time it's not to say that things that might be a little bit lower cost don't withstand the test of time like I've definitely had staple pieces like that come and go in and out of my wardrobe or mostly just stay because they're staple pieces uh, but generally speaking these are things that especially depending on the material the kind of like traffic that particular item will get kind of a thing uh, that I will spend a bit more money on so I figured what better time obviously I'm in a hotel room right now to talk about some of my staples and when I'm traveling or talk about one particular staple and when I'm traveling because if I'm traveling that means I need really easy minimally packed things even though I'm not the greatest at packing minimally but I do try put in the effort. But our first Styling Staples series episode is going to be styling a leather jacket. So, oh man, if you have followed me for around the last year, because I've had this jacket for about a year, you know that I wear this thing to absolute filth. Like, this, this gets worn literally every week typically multiple times a week, especially in the cooler seasons. Uh, I don't really remember the last trip that I took and didn't have this jacket. I don't remember the last week that I had where this jacket wasn't worn. And so it is a true staple for me. And if you are somebody who you find yourself aligning with my kind of style that I have, as far as I like to call it, you know, minimal but done maximally kind of a thing. Uh, if you live in a cooler climate especially or just an area where it does get cooler, uh, a leather jacket is a great staple piece for layering as just a going out piece, as an everyday wear piece. You can style a leather jacket so many different ways and that's, in my opinion, part of what makes it a staple piece. So this particular leather jacket that I have, it is genuine leather. Uh, it's from the brand Jacket NYC. So this is the Josie style, I believe. Uh, I bought this from a local boutique called True Luck in Columbus, uh, technically in New Albany. I did get a medium, so it's a little bit more of like a slightly oversized fit. It also accommodates like layering things underneath it as far as like the bulk of sleeves if I'm wearing sweaters or something like that. But this is truly the perfect leather jacket. And I, when I first saw it, I was definitely a bit, uh, there was some sticker shock, let's be honest, because I had never spent that much money on a jacket. But something like, genuine quality leather it's something that will last for a long time given that the quality is there uh, also i had gone through so many like obviously not leather like not genuine leather pieces over my lifetime that maybe they were you know 70 80 dollars a piece and i'd gone through at that point you know maybe four or five of them so when you start to do the math it comes pretty close to if i had just bought this one time kind of a thing right and this truly took the place of every other leather jacket in my wardrobe. This is the one and only leather jacket that I have. This is it. She and I. We're ride or dies. We're in this for the long haul together. So part of what I love, just the features of this jacket in particular, uh, for one, the material. It is a very soft leather. It's not a stiff leather. It's more like a vintage type look. Um, but as you can see, it's not super stiff. It's very like, like I can ball it up like this. I didn't want a super stiff leather jacket. I wanted a particular, when I'm thinking of an item, I think about how it lays, I think about how it fits, and I wanted it to fit in a very relaxed fashion. And this is exactly how this jacket lays. Um, another is the length. So especially as somebody that's just generally tall, but then I also have not only long legs, but I have a very long torso. So it's hard to find things, like things that are true crop, 
it's like a baby tee on me, right? Because I have a long torso. Uh, or if it's cut more long, it's just an awkward length. So I really wanted that perfect length, like right around like my pelvis type area without going too long that it covered up my entire backside kind of a thing. I don't know, I, I was just looking for that perfect length for me. I didn't want to crop, I didn't want it to be too long, and this is exactly that. Also, just the way that this drapes is absolutely stunning. Um, and then something else that's really unique about this jacket that I particularly like stylistically is that there's actually, I don't know if you can tell, um, but there is like wiring up in the collar, um, along these lapels, along the sleeves. So that way you can kind of shape it a little bit, like see how that is holding its shape. And then if I take it out, it then holds its shape again. Like I've never seen that in a leather jacket before and I absolutely adore it. I think also all of just the different, um, I mean, we have the pockets here, all of the different button details are really, really beautiful. Overall, this is, this is truly like my, my perfect leather jacket. So shout out to Jacket for making my perfect leather jacket. So enough kind of gabbing about this piece. Let's get into some outfits. So. Especially, we talk about this in the saddlebag review video, right? If you're going to invest in something and it's going to be a higher price point, that needs to be able to style it a multitude of ways. But also when you're thinking of a staple piece, if it's a staple, that means it can be styled in a multitude of ways. So today I'm going to show you three. I have styled this jacket at least 20 different ways in my lifetime. I mean, in the year that I've had it, not my lifetime, I've not had it my entire life. Uh, <laughs> but a, a 20 way styling video would be a very long video, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but what I am gonna do is show you three different ways. So I like to break it down into a like sporty or very casual style. Is that lipstick on my finger? Probably. <laughs> a very sporty or casual style, kind of a midpoint, still pretty casual, but a little bit more styled if you will, this is the lifestyled channel, right? So our sporty one, you could wear that to or from the gym. You know, if you had to go run groceries after the gym, obviously I'd put on deodorant and stuff like that so you're not getting your nice leather jacket all gross, but it's just the very pared down. Then we have the midpoint styling, which is still pretty casual, great for errands, great for maybe grabbing coffee with a friend, whatever it is. And then we have our more dressed up, maybe going out to dinner, going out to drinks, whatever it is type styling. So without further ado, Let's get into it. So our first sporty styling option, we just have a cute little semi high neck tank from Lululemon. I don't know if this is still available. I got it months and months ago, but you could just pair any kind of fitted off white colored tank with it. I just have a black sports bra underneath from Balance Athletica, which is in their staple, like kind of their staple black series that'll be linked in the description box and then also from that same kind of line from balance their bike shorts bike shorts have been a big trend this year and these are some really comfy really neutral ones that you could honestly style for the gym or for like the more lifestyle -y type outfits with bike shorts if it's a long oversized tee if it's a bomber jacket if it's obviously a leather jacket we can do that uh and then i just have my adidas oswegos that i wear literally all the time I have multiple colors and I'm looking to purchase more of them because they're such a comfortable shoe and they're really stylish. They, they, they're like my ideal chunky sneaker for the current chunky sneaker trend. I love them to bits. And then I just paired my uh, bum bag with them because I wear my bum bag everywhere. You could pair your gym bag with it. You could pair a plain black fanny with it. Doesn't matter. You could have just your regular gym bag. And then I have on my tan little baseball cap that I got from Urban Outfitters like over four years ago. So just a very sporty, very casual look. And now getting into look number two. This is kind of our mid-level styling option. It also features two of my other, actually three. This is a full staple outfit. This is just like staples on staples on staples so on the underneath layer we just have a basic white tee from zara a white tee is an absolute wardrobe essential there's so many different ways to style it uh, then we have my top shop joni jeans which are my favorite style of jeans in the whole world they are so comfy like these are my go-to airport jeans like i wear jeans at the airport I wear these jeans at the airport. Not other jeans, I wear these jeans at the airport. So these are my Joni jeans. And then we have my ever loved Doc Martens Pascal boots. I love my Pascal boots. It's another staple. Like I said, this is an entire outfit of staples and then paired again with my bum bag because if I'm like toting around town, that is the bag that I wear. Again, great for coffee, great for grabbing lunch, great for, you know, if you're maybe a college student on campus, like just jotting around, but still looking a little put together. I'm one of those people that I like to just look put together. I don't want to look 
not put together. It just makes me feel good. I like, look good, feel good, do good, right? Um, some people agree with that, some people don't, but that's how I like to live my life. So there is our kind of mid-level styling option. Uh, I would just put some, you know, additional gold accessories with this if I wanted to dress it up a little bit. I have my like essential daily gold chains and stuff that I wear all the time. Um, some little gold earrings, whatever you want. Um, and then we have styling option number three. So this is our more fancy option. This is also, <laughs> I'm actually including so many staples in this video. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, so as far as a staple dress that you can dress up or dress down, we have a slip dress. So this is just a basic black slip dress. This one is actually from Target. Um, I found this luckily, like I literally was just perusing the store one day. Target tells you what you need. You don't go to Target knowing what you need. Target tells you, right? We know, um, but I found this perfect black slip dress at Target one day. I believe it is sold out online, so I'm sorry, but there are plenty of places, literally just type in Google, you know, black slip dress and you'll be taken a million different places and you will find the perfect one for you, I promise. Um, but a good slip dress can be styled so many different ways and what's one of my favorite things to wear, you know, out for nicer occasions. I think it just looks really classy, really put together, really sophisticated. And you know, especially for those cooler temperatures, just toss, this leather jacket over it, pair it with a nice nude heel, pair it with your saddlebag if you have one like I did here, <laughs> uh, some gold accessories and you are ready to go. It is such a fast, easy, simple, but beautiful outfit. And that's what I am all about. I'm all about the simple. I'm all about the looking just put together. And as you can see, I'm all about the all black. It's just hard to go wrong with all black. It's a very easy, very, very, very easy pairing. So those are our three styling options. Obviously there are a million different ways to style a leather jacket, like I said. Um, I'll put a couple of photos up here of other ways that I've styled it as far as like my boyfriend jeans, just different options that I've worn it with, things like that. Like I said, I wear this piece to absolute filth. So I'll pop up more outfit ideas here, but if you are looking for your first staple piece to start your wardrobe, to start a more intentional wardrobe, I would definitely suggest a leather jacket of some kind, whether you go with a vegan leather, whether you go with a genuine leather, whether you go with one that is pre-loved and vintage, like off of Etsy or something like that, whether you go with one that is one that you purchased fresh, doesn't matter, but having something that is leather-esque, that fits the type of style and fit and length and everything that you want, it can truly do so much for your wardrobe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If there are any other basics that you would be curious about styling options for, definitely let me know. I think you guys know which ones of mine might be coming next. I mean, I am the blazer queen. We know that's coming someday. Um, but I wanted to start with this piece because like I said, I'm traveling and this comes everywhere with me. So I figured it was the perfect one to do because I literally have in my suitcase that I'm staring at right now, exploded on the floor, probably at least like six or seven different styling options with this jacket. So that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.